And some utility rates could be increasing in Sioux Falls over the next four years. And for the average homeowner in the city, the increase could start next year. Couple of Lance Carter Schmidt was at this afternoon's presentation and breaks down how the numbers could impact you. Good evening, Carter. Good evening, Don and Bridget. The utilities that could see rate increases are water purification, sewer, storm drainage, and the sanitary landfill. However, it doesn't mean you'll be directly affected by every single increase. At this time, there is no price hike for city light and power. The City of Sioux Falls Public Works Department routinely reviews utility rates to make sure revenues meet the expected expenses. The last time they set rates was in 2019. Now they're looking to set new rates for 2024 through 2027. Director of Public Works Mark Cotter presented the numbers to the City Council Tuesday. These utilities have seen cost increase and just water meters, for example, have gone up 19% in the last three years. Um, treatment chemicals have gone up. Um, more than that for both water and wastewater and, and some of those high sort of consumption maintenance items have gone up almost 75 percent. For example, the annual percentage increase for water purification next year would be 6 percent. The average customer in Sioux Falls uses 5,200 gallons of water. That means that there's a lot of customers that use a lot less than that and there's customers that use more but if you just look at if you're going to use 5,200 gallons of water, your typical increase on that one for 2024, I believe, is $1.73 per month. Therefore, the average customer would see a water bill increase of almost $21 for the entire year. As for the years after that, the increases would go up by 4 to 6 percent annually for each utility, water, sewer, and storm drainage through 2027. The projects that we're doing are larger and larger, and so if we're planning a project in, say, 2027, we don't need to start collecting that revenue today. And so that's why we do multi-year rate increases, and we hope it's, um, you know, also allows our customers to um, moderately adjust for those rate increases. From infrastructure upgrades and additions to maintenance and operation costs, Cotter says these are the minimum increases required to keep the reliable systems running. Our customers have a level of service that they expect and we want to maintain that going forward. Now that the information is in city councilors' hands, they will get to decide if the rates are approved moving forward. We want to make sure that the rate increases are warranted, but we have to make sure that we have safe infrastructure and that we don't fall behind. And the discussions will continue at the next couple city council meetings, and it will be voted on June 20th. If you'd like to read more into the numbers, the city has launched a designated web page with all the information, which is attached to this story on Kowaland.com. All right.